So, three more principles for the combat with a big shield. Hello there, lovely sword people. Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And like I said in the last video, there are lots more to talk about when we're talking about the combat with the sword and a big shield, the Imbracatura of Achille Morozzo. So, let's get right to it. The first thing I want to talk about today is attacking around the shield of your opponent. We touched on this a bit in the last video as well, when I said we want to walk around the shield side of our opponent, because our own shield presents itself for our own defense. We get further away from the sword side of our opponent, and we might even get behind the shield of our opponent, but that's usually not the case. So we need to attack around the shield because we don't want to open ourselves up for simultaneous defense and attack. What are the best attacks to do to attack around the shield? Well, there's the Imbrakata, the thrust from above, which goes over the shield of the opponent. There's the Falso Impuntado, which is a mandrito, turning in the middle of the blow to the false edge to strike either with the false edge or with the point, which is much more likely. So from here, turning around and striking around, or maybe striking low, or from the other side with the reverso and then turning into the Fazo Impuntado from the outside. These attacks, of course, exist in the single sword or in the Spada Duimani as well. But with the big shield, these attacks, where you attack ar around the defense of the opponent and leave your uh, center open, are much safer if you have something to defend that center. And that's a big shield. So especially with the Imbrotata or the Balzo Impuntado, you can use your shield to cover that side. And like I said in the last video, be econo uh, economic about your motion, but use these attacks that would leave you open in another scenario a lot more. Because to get around this big shield is a lot harder than you think. You need to make your opponent move. And that brings me to my second principle. Use these attacks to provoke your opponent to move, to make these big motions. For example, you can use the Imbrakata to make your opponent lift the shield up to expose the legs. So use the Imbrakata to go low. Use the strike to the legs to get the defense of your opponent low and then strike around. For example, with the uh, Punta Reversa. Use all your motions with a plan. Don't just attack in first or maybe even in second intention, but use a string of attacks, a combination. This is not only very fun to learn, but very useful in a fight. With a shield, you can afford to stick into close measure a lot longer because it keeps you that much safer. But of course, always train a retreat as well. Okay, that's the second principle. And the third one is to use your shield offensively as well. Again, not huge motions, but you can, of course, use your shield to attack the shield side of your opponent as well. Maybe pin their shield and then strike around. Or even if you don't have a spike on the edge of the shield like the Imbracatura has, you can still punch your opponent with the shield edge. Or maybe use the literal shield strike from 133 to the face of your opponent. Again, not huge motions that leave you wide open, but small economic motions to present another threat to your opponent gives them something to think about. Okay, and that's it for today. Of course, there are still a lot more to talk about. Let me know how you like these in the comments below and what you would add in the next video. And we see you in the next one. Thank you and ciao.